Hi. So here is an example of a question dealing with the photoelectric effect. And the photoelectric effect is simply where light of a particular frequency and therefore a particular energy causes electrons or photoelectrons to be emitted from the surface, given that we know what the work function is, which is the minimum amount of energy that is needed to release those photoelectrons. So the first thing I'm going to do is going to draw a quick diagram. So here's my photons like so. I, it's violet light, so I haven't got a violet bend, so I'm going to use blue for the moment. And we're told that the wavelength of these particular photons is 500 nanometers, and they strike a surface of a particular wank function, which we're given is equal to two electron volts. And we're told that electrons are emitted, but we don't know what their energy is in terms of their kinetic energy. Now the key to understand this is to know that there's a simple linear relationship between these things. That is, that the energy of my electrons is equal to the photon energy, which is HF, minus the work function. But the thing we have here is, first of all, two problems. First of all, we're not given the frequency, we are given the wavelength, so we have to work out the frequency. And the second thing you need to look at is the fact that we're given the work function in the energy unit, the non-SI unit energy unit of the electron volt. So when we do this calculation, we need to ensure that our energy of the photon is also in electron volts. So let's start the process by actually doing all that. So the thing is, first of all, the energy of my photon, so here I, my energy is equal to HF. Now remember, F is actually the frequency. So what we now need to do is replace that with a relationship to that F is. So since C equals F lambda, we can now substitute F in and write H C over lambda. And so when we calculate that out, we're going to get 6.626 by 10 to the power of negative 34. We multiplied by, of course, the speed of light, which is three by 10 to the power of eight. And then we divided by lambda. Now lambda is our wavelength, that's 500, but it's nanometers, so by 10 to the power of negative nine. When you calculate that out, you get 3.9756 by 10 to the power of negative 19 joules. That is the energy in terms of the SI unit, joules. So what we now need to do is convert that to electron volts. How do we do that? Well, you simply divide this by 1.6 by 10 to the negative 19. And so what we get is the equivalent energy in electron volts ends up being 2.48 electron volts. That is the energy in electron volts of our photons that are coming in. So now to work out the kinetic energy of my particular electrons, well, that's E of the, the photons is equal to this energy, which is 2.48 minus the work function, which of course was given two, and therefore we give a value of 0.48 electron volts. So that is the energy every single electron has that comes off. If I needed to increase that energy, what do I need to do? Well, they can only incur if we have a higher frequency. If I want more electrons to be liberated, then obviously what I need is more photons to arrive. And this is because, of course, that this is a quantum phenomena, that light is traveling in terms of particles called photons. Anyway, my name is Paul from Physics High. Take care. Bye for now.